Ah, kia ora kia tupia, koe. Level 4 lockdown, under cargo. We are all in the same bubble anyway, so yeah, we're going white baiting. Um, ring in the cargo police station. They didn't say I couldn't go. Uh, they just said, you know, it's common sense if you if you're gathering kai, don't put yourself in a stupid predicament. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm going to the local river, the Waihopoi River in town. Um, it does say you shouldn't drive um, if you read the fine print, but at the end of the day, I mean. You can drive to the supermarket around town. You can uh, you can drive to the bottle store and buy a 24 pack to get pissed that night. So, what's wrong with driving? You know, four or five blocks down to the river, um, except getting the missus' car wet with all the white bait nets. But yeah, watch this space. Yeah, we're into it. It's bloody raining. You good, Ash? Like your spot? Yeah. Yeah, we've never sat here before. So, right behind the industrial area. I just want to stay away from that bridge over there. So, hey John. Yep. There'll be a few Karens around. Yeah. I mean, geez, we're in the same bubble. We're just trying to grab a Kai. It would have been out opening day, but um, the rivers were just raging, so. So we've got a little bit of shadow here and behind these toy toys. It's new rules, we're 20 metres apart. Scoop net can be wherever he wants. Um, yeah. I'm just here, my net's underwater though, but I'm sort of working on the fact he might be able to scoop anything that I see. Because of the rain it is hard to see, but it'll be interesting to see if that's the main state highway 6 over there, so fingers crossed there's no dramas. Jeez, just got cabin fever and this is bloody good for the mental health. I'll show you oceans we set up down here. Got a nice big curve here in the bank. And his net's just sitting there. It's actually not a bad wee spot. Good to aren't used to fishing deep water like this. We normally fish quite shallow. As I said, I didn't want to bring those big nets, just too much work with level four and everything. So far, one cyclist, one jogger, no currents. The boys have already forgotten what it's like to go white boating, you know, these things can hear your bloody heartbeat. Haven't seen one yet. As I said, I'm, jeez, I'm a foot under the water here. I'm sort of hoping that I can use this net here with the rain to catch any, you know, deeper bait. And then if any go over the top, I can let the kids know. Get ready, get ready, get ready because uh, you're all our spotter boards are out at the Apurima, which is where we normally go white baiting, so. But yeah, white baits are bonus. Being out here is the catch of the day. Hey, Tim. Yeah. All right. Just about been an hour now, still haven't seen a white bait. We box nets uh, just going under at this end, so. Because we haven't seen a white bait, I've just rolled the, the scoop net up. It hasn't got a trap or anything in it, so... I mean, legally I'm not 100% sure if this would be A-OK, -okay, but... It's certainly not fishing. I'm just using it as a screen. I've jammed the aluminium pole in the bank. Way back there in the grass. I'm really probably on the wrong side of the river. Over that side of the river is probably where the white bait want to go. Easiest path than that, but a bit bloody cold over there. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting this out here. Um, what do you do in this situation? You're half tired, it's miserable, you haven't seen any white bait yet. Your kids are pissing this off. This isn't going to be a big video, it's not going to be, you know, shoals of bait. Do you go home? We're <laughs> We're talking about getting some KFC. <laughs> Homemade KFC. You can't because it's level four. Dad, is that a question? Shut up. <laughs> and yeah, oh, I'd just like some comments down below. Do you just say nah, flag it? Especially if you're a weekend warrior like I am normally, and you've got, um, you know, you got two days of the week which are yours or your family's. Do you spend it in this? I mean, there's definitely worse things. In places, but uh, mm -hmm. 
Say what you, New Zealand? I'm trying to concentrate here. What are you guys doing? Panning for gold or something? <laughs> Take a step, eh? Show us how muddy it is. <laughs> Don't. That, that spot there is like a booby trap. She'll be right. <laughs> Jumped in there, my weight is Oh, man. <sighs> and we're going home. What'd you get? Something. Oh, something on there. Ah, where is he? Right there. Hey, Nanga. Nanga. I don't know what kind. Doesn't look like a giant topu. Give it some, yeah. But yeah, we physically haven't caught a white boat. But you put him back. That's uh, you can sort of get that sometimes around these weedy up in the sort of what's that? That's uh, a bit of lily and stuff. You get that up here. That's where they lay their eggs, you see? And all that reedy stuff. And then when you get those big full moons and stuff, all the floods drags them all the way out to sea, and then uh, big full moon next time brings them back up. Hopefully into our net, but no. Not this time. <laughs>